Noel is one of my most viewed guides on my channel, and I made that as a support build. Now, more recently on the Zhongli rerun banner, I managed to pull a C6 Noel. Now, it's kind of disgusting when you look at it, but think about it. If you played the banners since the start of the game, well, you got your free Noel on the beginner's wish. You might have pulled on the Klee banner and got her. Uh, you might have pulled on the Gandhi banner and got her, you might have pulled on the Venti banner and got her, or you might have pulled on the recent Zhongli and got on C6, you know? A lot of people might have a C6 Noel at this point, and I thought, you know what would be fun? We'll make a DPS Noel build, because that's a funny idea. Now, so we're going to talk about, so we're going to talk about the best ways to make a DPS Noel build, because it sounds like a funny idea, and let's do it. So, if you guys enjoyed today's little guide and you want to support me, because feel free to sub, because only 4.6% of which reviews are subscribed. If you're new or return to the channel, we do the game games, guys, news, discussions, gameplay streams, and more. And about the streams, they'll be coming back really, really soon, which is an unfortunate week for this kind of stuff. So, let's get into it. So, the main thing with Noel is, obviously, you need her Constellation 6 for this guide to work. I mean, you can, you can use it before, but to get your best results, you need her Constellation 6, because when you use her burst, you increase your attack by a 50% of her defense value. Now, if you stack defense on the world, then she could be really, really good. Now, now obviously, in terms of weapons, the white blind is going to be your best weapon, most likely. It's the best free to play option. Overall, the white blind is just really, really good for her. Because you get defense percent, you get some decent attack, and also your normal charge attack, attacks increase not only your attack, but also your defense. So, overall, white blind is really, really good for her. But if you don't have the white blind, because you might have crafted the prototype archaic when you first started playing Genshin, there are some other options. You could always use something like. Pavonius Great Sword if you want a lot of energy recharge to get your burst up often. Or, or if push comes to shove, you could always use, I believe it's the White Iron Great Sword down here if you really don't have anything else. But obviously the White Blind is going to be one of your best weapons. The 5 star weapons are also okay for her too, so you can always use that. But White Blind overall, probably one of her best weapons for DPS in the world. Now, look at that, even at level 70 with plus 0 artifacts, I have 1186 defense. Now, Oh, that means when I use my burst, I will get an extra 500 attack added on to give myself a thousand attack with plus zero artifacts. By the way, apart from this one, that's plus eight. I might actually do it, but yeah, we'll get onto artifacts in a second. But the main thing is with, with talents is you want to level up her. Her sweeping time gives you the attack bonus right here. So of course, leveling this up will give you the bigger attack bonus. But also, if you're building DPS in the world, you'll be using her normal attacks a lot. So nor her leveling up her normal attacks is also a very, very big priority here. Personally, I say level up normal attacks before you level up your sweeping time, but I or you can level them up both at the same time. That might also be a good way of doing it. Now, when it comes to artifacts, there are many, many options you can have. This don't do not follow this. I just don't have any more retracing belay pieces. Turns out I used them all in uh in you know uh, infusion. So archaic petra gives you a, a 50% geo damage bonus. You can always run that and defender's will. Now defender's will. I don't think I have any of those pieces left behind either because I remember I think I used them all up. So I don't know if I can just show. Show them, but it gives you 30% defense. So you can always run Defender's Will and Archaic Petra for a fun little DPS build. Or if you don't want to do that, you can always use a best slot, which is a four-piece retracing blight. Now it gives you 40% normal and charge type damage when you're protected by a shield. Now the well, when I mean, you know how she works, right? You, 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 just, you just look at her and just go. You just go E. Just go E, you got a shield, you know, you got 40% damage bonus right there. Easy. Now, when it comes to main and substats, obviously with the flower and the uh, feather, you don't have a choice, but when it comes to her sands, personally, I say defense percent. Her uh, goblet, geo damage bonus. These subs are awful, by the way, but geo damage bonus is the best for her goblet because you're getting the attack bonus when she's in a burst and her attacks become geo, so therefore having a geo damage goblet is really, really nice for her. And for her circlet, don't use defense percent. This is just because I wanted, this is when I, I was bad and I thought it was a good idea. You want to run something like crit damage or crit rate. And the main subs to get are obviously defense percent, crit rate, and or crit damage. And maybe energy recharge if you, you know, at a, you know, at a push because it's also all right on her. But yeah, if we're, when we're prioritizing, obviously defense, crit rate, and crit damage are your best like things to prioritize. Now, I can also like do like a, t a baby showcase of the absolute minimum of what to expect, which is going to be not much given the fact that literally I've not leveled up as Noel at all. She's level seventy and hasn't done very much, so she's going to need to um, you know. 
be leveled and have a bit better equipment. And also another thing to mention as well is Geo Resonance bonus. This is also important to mention for Noel. So you can run Geo Traveler with this as well with this team comp. But the elemental resonance of two Geo increases your shield strength. And also, if you deal jammers to energy, it will decrease their Geo resistance by 20%. So if you have another Geo character in your party, you get a free 20% damage on top of your Noel. So that's also a good thing to aim for. When it comes to building the well as your main damage dealer. So the main thing you want to do is, is, just, is just pop this. Now it's not gonna, I'm obviously not going to do much damage given the um, you know, severity of my build not existing properly. But even so, right, with plus zero artifacts and a level 50 weapon and literally a level 1 talent Noel, she's doing quite a bit of damage. Now imagine how good this would be when you max her out. I don't think it's going to be like as strong as, I don't know, a Ganyu for example, but... But like, Noel still is a pretty it's a pretty fun build to do if you get bored of the game and you just want to build something wacky and fun. You can always build a DPS Noel. Now, if you have any questions about like this DPS Noel build in, in general, I'll try and answer my best in the comments down below. But you know, I want to support the Noel supremacy, you know. Noel, she deserves a lot more love and hey, her hangout event, a lot of people are starting to like her a lot more, so let's share the Noel love everyone and I hope you all enjoy enjoy today's little guide. Again, if you've got any questions, let me know down below in the comments. I hope you're having a lovely day wherever you are. Take care, and I'll see you guys in another video soon. Have a good day, everyone.